When a company generates profit, which we call net income, the company has two choices. Firstly, it can distribute a part of this profit to shareholders, which we call cash dividends. Or secondly, we can keep part of this profit within the firm, which we call retained earnings. So we know net income equals dividends plus retained earnings. Let's try and have a look at a numerical example to see how this works. Let's assume a company has a net income of $10 million, which is divided as dividends of $6 million and retained earnings of $4 million. If we would like to know what the percentage of dividends the company distributes to shareholders from net income, we need to divide dividends by net income, which is called the dividend payout ratio. So, in our example, we would divide dividends of $6 million by net income of $10 million, which will give us a dividend payout ratio of 60%. Then, we would need to know what the percentage of the retained earnings the company kept in order to grow from net income. Therefore, we need to divide retained earnings by net income, which is called the retention ratio. So, in our example, we will divide retained earnings of $4 million by net income of $10 million, which will give us a retention ratio of 40%. Since net income equals dividends plus retained earnings, the dividend payout ratio plus the retention ratio must be equal to 100% or 1. Consequently, we can rewrite the dividend payout ratio formula as 1 minus the retention ratio. Furthermore, we could rewrite the retention ratio formula as 1 minus the dividend payout ratio.